Is that my phone? No, no, no. I missed it. The notification. It's not here anymore. I don't know what happens. There's only a notification, I don't know, center. Luckily for us, Microsoft's going to give it to us in Windows Phone 8.1. It's a handy feature. Most people really want it. Let's take a look. When it comes to our phones, notifications are probably one of the top features that most people use. The problem with Windows Phone is you can have lots of live tiles and things going off and you may miss it and not know what happened. Heck, you may not even have a live tile pinned to your screen, in which case you don't know what happened at all. Luckily for us in 8.1, Microsoft has solved this. And there's a few different ways you can view this. There's a little icon up in that corner there. You can see it looks like a little newspaper envelope kind of thing. That's for the notification center. That's telling you, hey, something happens. There's a new alert that you should basically pay attention to. Of course, I can see I have email here, but that could be an alert for something that wasn't on my start screen. To access the notification center, you just basically swipe down from the top and there it is. And you can basically see all your new emails, text messages, Foursquare notifications, Facebook alerts, whatever there is. Uh, you can even see Instagram beta alerted me that Mark posted a photo. So it will all be here in a history and then you can of course hit that little button to clear all. It's a very powerful feature, one that a lot of people have been asking for, and you can see it's just a beautifully laid out history of what's happened on your device. You can even clear away uh, each item, and you can see there your app ones remain, and then you can clear that one away as well. All sorts of things can show up there, and you also see up here is the action center. So that's actually a separate little section where you have quick access to items. Not only that, in the whole notification center area, you can see I have more detailed info for the date and my battery life, which is really nice. And even tells me I don't have a SIM. As you notice, that goes away when you go back to the main screen here. You see that information is hidden. Keeps a very nice, clean, and modern look to the device. Swiping down, though, gives you all that information. These action center buttons, you have four of them, give you quick access to various features. You can go into settings, of course, and change those. So we hit notifications and actions. And you can see now those four buttons are there and I can hit one of them and select what I want to be there. You can only put so many things in there though. They give you a pre-selected choice basically. Uh, there is no data toggle switch, which I think a lot of people were asking for, but that could always come in another update as it's probably an easy addition. We do have things like VPN, Wi-Fi, rotation locked. Heck, location is there. So you can even turn off your location in case you want to go off the, the grid. Um, internet sharing and camera, which is really good for devices that no longer have a hardware key for that. Uh, going down here, we can see the notifications. Uh, you can configure it for individual apps, which is really nice for Instagram beta, uh, which ties nicely with 8.1. You can see uh, notification banners. I can toggle that on or off to see those toasts come down. I can also see the sound here and I can change those to what I want. I can also add, of course, custom notifications to the OS via uh, pairing it to my PC and then I can choose that here or I can even have choose none. If you choose none, it'd be interesting. You can have a toast notification pop up but no audio alert. You can also select if you want it to vibrate or not. So you can mix and match which ones of those you actually like. And it's actually a very powerful system. And you can do that for messaging, for your email, for your phone, for Skype calls, for the store, even Wi-Fi, you can have pop on and off. Now, I'm a big fan of having new networks discovered on Wi-Fi, but I don't necessarily want my phone vibrating or making a noise. So I can turn those off and I'll still see the banner, but it won't necessarily disturb me. Uh, so it's a very powerful system as developers tie into this with their app updates, we can get more and more features and more custom ability. You can access the notifications that are from any screen, of course, and it just toggles down there. And the graphics are really kind of cool with it. It's very smooth and elegant and just looks very clean. So that's a quick tour of the Action and Notification Center for Windows Phone 8.1, probably one of the most anticipated features for this operating system. It's pretty impressive. We really like it. You should let us know what you think though and head to Windows Phone Central for more information on 8.1, including some deep dive videos into the OS and various new features. Take care, everybody.